Hello, my name is Christine. I've been thinking about writing a devotion for some time now, but every time I thought I'd got a great idea, I'd start writing it and it would fizzle out and, and just kind of not work. But today I've got something to share and it's bubbling up inside me and I think it's fun and I hope it's helpful. And it's about MOTs. And I'm not quite sure why I'm thinking about MOTs. We haven't used the car for ages. Um, we had the MOT done just before lockdown. Um, what's the purpose of an MOT? Well, Google tells me it's a check once a year to see if vehicles over a certain age comply with roadworthiness and environmental requirements. And I thought, well, I don't need one for the car. Maybe I could usefully do one for myself a spiritual MOT. The obvious next step for me anyway is to Google spiritual MOD, MOT, which I did and I found quite a few sites. One interesting one was for a spiritual MOT for children and youth workers, but the questions could apply to all of us. And the questions were, how are you doing in yourself? How are you doing with God? How are you doing with others? And the killer question, how do others think you're doing? I've been doing a lot of reading recently and Zooming and webinaring too. And from that, I've come up with three areas of my life I really want to examine. And they are one anothering and unselfing and dovetailing. Let me tell you about them and you can see if you want to do a spiritual MOT on yourself using these or some other topics that come to mind for you. Firstly, one anothering. It's something I learned about in an online seminar last Saturday, a webinar. One anothering is looking out for one another, caring for one another, seeing what Jesus says about caring and loving. Back to Google and I found a website with the top 59 one another scriptures and here's some of them. Be at peace with one another. Wash one another's feet. Love one another. That's five times in John 13 and 15 alone. Be devoted to one another. Accept one another as Christ accepted you. And my plan over the next few days is to check my standards of one anothering against these scriptures and see how I'm doing. To put in place some fine tuning so my one anothering is in tip top condition. And being stuck inside doesn't stop me doing this. It gives me time and space to be thoughtful and creative about it. So that's one another ring. The second one is unselfing. Unselfing, I found, is a transitive verb and it means to remove self-centeredness. Iris Murdoch wrote about this and she said it was turning attention from yourself to the world, seeing things how they really are and not through the lens of my own selfish concerns. And I think for me, it's a matter of decluttering, getting rid of unimportant things, selfish concerns, which hamper and clog up my relationship with Jesus. Getting rid of stuff like old hurts, bad habits, stuff that weighs me down, stuff that can be found and cleared out with thought and prayer, leaving me more free to see how much God loves me, leaving me time and space to be more thankful and more trusting. I can spend lots of time and energy moving the spiritual clutter of old hurts and bad habits around in cramped up spaces in my heart and my mind. So this is a really good time for sorting out and dumping stuff. That was unselfing. And the final one is dovetailing. 
Ian and I love reading Selwyn Hughes. He writes every day with Jesus. He actually died in 2006, but his wisdom is so satisfying and nourishing that they keep printing it. And at the moment, Selwyn is talking about the imagery of the Holy Spirit. And for the last few days, he's been concentrating on the Holy Spirit as a dove. Now, all you wannabe craftsmen carpenters know that a dovetail is a joint that fits exactly together. And I want to talk about dovetailing. I want to make sure I'm hearing exactly what God wants to say to me. So I'm going to make sure I concentrate on whatever is true, noble and right. Whatever is pure, lovely and admirable. Anything excellent and praiseworthy, as it says in Philippians 4.8. And I want to dovetail that information, discern the right way forward and make sure I'm perfectly joined with God and with others exactly fitting the pattern I'm supposed to be. You get the gist. One last thing I want to share from my reading and Zooming recently is that your praying, my praying, is the first target of the enemy. So I'm going to keep praying and I'm going to take my spiritual MOT and I'll be thinking about one anothering and unselfing and dovetailing. What are you thinking about?